Hey, 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 happy new year from Andrea and a team here at Social School for EDU. We are kicking off 2023 with a bang with a solo episode. I've got some really easy, tangible tips to think about um, in regards to storytelling on social media. Uh, you're not going to want to miss this. I would love after you listen to this, let me know either on Twitter at Andrea Gribble or you can email me, Andrea, at socialschoolforedu.com. Let me know what you plan to take away and implement um, because I've got some really easy ways of sharing and showcasing what's happening in our classrooms. Um, and I'm talking you through some of the projects that I'm working on for my school district. Remember, I do social media every single day for Little New Auburn, Wisconsin. And so um, we love to share that. Um, as we get into this new year, I hope that it's going to be the best one yet. Uh, 2023 is going to be a really big year. Um, so blessed to ride this uh, alongside of you and so blessed to have you listening to this podcast. So let's get to this week's K-12 PR tip. All right, let's kick off this year's K-12 PR tip, the first one of the year uh, for 2023. Um, just a couple of weeks ago, uh, we shared a awesome blog on a caption clinic, how to stand out on social media with some of your creative writing. Um, so I just want to, hey, let's like jazz up our uh, social media posts a little bit to make them more enjoyable for your community. Um, we don't write in AP style and uh, puns, you guys, can be such a great way to really lighten up your um, your uh, news feed. Um, and we had one uh, that was the violin club. And so they, so they said, join violin club, no strings attached. Oh, isn't that cute? Um, we also had a throwback Thursday picture with a huge pig on it and said, this yearbook photo is kind of a pig deal instead of a big deal. Now, um, I guess that's not really a pun, um, but I, I just love that. And sometimes you can throw it into whatever you're saying. Um, I, I really like this one. Um, it was about baking and it says baking me happy instead of making me happy. So um, you guys, we have a lot of ideas uh, for different posts, uh, um, writing tips in this caption clinic. I'll make sure to link to it in the show notes. Um, not every post needs to be like this. Okay. Because your community would maybe start rolling their eyes at you, but throw them in a little bit. Um, some of your staff may get creative when they send you things anyways. Um, but again, throw in those emojis. Those are always great for engagement. Um, engagement's key. We want to get people engaged. We want them interested in what we're sharing. And so how you write is going to help that. So I hope you enjoy um, that little tip. And now let's get to this week's podcast episode featuring me. Happy New Year! It is a brand new year, 2023. And I know with schools, we kind of go by the school year, right? Um, but it is a brand new uh, calendar year, I guess, with 2023 starting. And you're getting a solo episode from me. Uh, we haven't done one of these in quite a while, um, but I thought it would maybe be a little shorter format today and just kind of kick things off in the right way when it comes to social media for this new year. Now, um, I hope that your school year is going really well. Um, it certainly has uh, been a little bit a different year uh, for many of us, although some of you are still living in some really contentious, divisive uh, communities, um, school board meetings, you know, all of that. And so um, my prayers and thoughts continue to be with you. You know, you have to do what you can do with social media. Um, I've, I've talked to uh, several people that have joined our membership group and, you know, they're like, Andrea, we just can't turn comments on right now because it's so divisive. And I'm like, you know what, you know, your community best, you're going to have to do what you can do through this season. And hopefully we're going to get through to the other side. Um, but today I really wanted to talk about, um, you know, going back to school after the break and getting really reinvigorated with showcasing classroom learning. I think that in the public eye, in the news, in the media, um, there's just so much talk about what's being taught, what's not being taught, um, you know, all of this controversy. And you guys, we have the ability with social media to actually 
shine a light on what's actually happening in our classrooms. And I think that's the most powerful tool that we have to continue to help shift that narrative away from some of that negativity. And so I really want you to kind of look at your pages and see, okay, maybe I'm doing a teacher feature each week and I'm doing a throwback Thursday, Andrea, because I believe that you taught me to do that. And that's all great. We're celebrating the um, big sports victories, but are we giving our community a peek into the classroom of what's happening. Um, and uh, certainly on my page in New Auburn, we've really made a conscious effort to really expose what's going on in the classrooms. And I'm telling you, our community loves to see it. They love to see the action learning, um, whether it be in math class where students are up in front of other students kind of explaining, whether it's a short video, uh, whether it's a science experiment. Um, there's just a lot of ways to showcase what's happening in the classrooms. And you probably need to make a conscious effort to ask for those stories reach out to those teachers that you know would submit some content like that or make a trip to your school one school a week you guys where you're go reaching out you're going out into the classrooms and you're discovering some of the great things and those are simple stories that we can tell that can mean so much um what i wanted to kind of break down today also in regards to um, some of this is we're going into the last part of the school year, the last half kind of, right? Winter break is almost half. Um, and so we really have to start looking ahead. Um, so I just want to give you some ideas on some posts that I am working on uh, with my small school district. Remember, I do social media every day, just like you do. Um, and so one of the things in regards to highlighting what uh, our students are learning is um, we have an amazing tech ed department. Like Mr. Rayburn is awesome. He has really invested in some partnerships with local businesses that have um, donated. He's gotten grants. And we've got a lot of cool equipment in our tech ed department that students are getting to learn about and learn to use and learn future careers right while they're in high school. And nobody really knows about it. So I talked to Mr. Rayburn and I said, let's do some short videos where the students can explain the equipment and explain what it does and kind of showcase a little bit of that. You guys, I'm going in there with my iPhone uh, to get those videos. You can shoot them in vertical format. They make great uh, Instagram reels or a traditional video, however you want to use them. But what I'm planning to do is just use those videos um, I'm going to go in and I'm going to record them mostly in one day with different students, but then I'm going to feature those and spread those out on our social media pages so that people can see. So maybe it's not your tech ed department. Maybe you have some other um, amazing technologies or um, really unique opportunities. Let's get those stories out to your community. If you are in a bigger school district and you're not sure what those things are, talk to your principals, right? Find out what they're most proud of at their school. Let's highlight some of those things in the classroom. Another thing is artwork, like being able to showcase the different um, things that kids are creating. Those do really well on social media. It could be videos. It could be photos. We really like it when the photo is with the artist along with a piece of art. Um, but you you need to think about that as well. So um, I hope that gives you a few ideas. Just be like, yes, I'm going to go get in those classrooms and showcase those what's going on. I think that could really help. Um, the other thing, again, looking in to the second half of the year. Um, highlighting some important things that are happening in your district. Um, and, and for us, we have an amazing business partnership program. Now, we just did a podcast on the first half of this year on a business partnership program where students come in and, and um, work in area businesses. Uh, Princeton City Schools is doing that in Ohio, and um, they've just got an amazing program. Um, and what I want to highlight is just the individual stories of the students who are working and what skills they're learning, the benefits for the students and the benefits for the 
the business and highlight those businesses that are committing to our students, investing in them um, and how thankful we are. So um, this could be done with a video. Um, this could be done with just a written with a nice picture of that student at the workplace. I would really recommend that, that we're highlighting them in that environment. Um, you could create some kind of a cute graphic as well, but don't get hung up on that and don't get hung up on, oh my gosh, if I did a video, I got to go out to the location and you know, all of that. So um, what we're doing, how we're coordinating this is we're just setting up some Google forms for the student to fill out and for the business, um, you know, whoever's leading that effort, who the supervisor, you know, for them to ask a couple questions, the business owner in some cases. Um, and then we're going to make sure to get a picture of the student from you know, when, that where they're working. Um, and then we're going to work that into a feature that we can put out on social media. Um, so if you have anything like that, um, biz, those business partnerships where you can tag the business in your pay, in your post, either on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, you guys, that's good stuff. Um, the other great thing that we have again about our small little school and, and each one's unique. So, um, but we have a lot of students getting college credit. Our school actually pays for up to 18 college credits. After that, then the student has to pay for them themselves. Um, but we have a lot of students graduating with um, almost at a sophomore level um, of college right out of high school. Um, some are even getting, you know, associate's degrees and things like that, which is exciting. So um, we're really making an effort this last half of the year to feature some of those students who have taken some of those college classes and how many they'll have when they graduate and just talk about, oh, what, what a relief that is. Again, that could be done in video or it could be done in a written format. Uh, but I think that's another really great idea. And then seniors, right? We've got uh, folks graduating and I've got two of them this year, my stepson and my daughter. And so um, one really easy feature to do, which you can batch record, um, and then schedule them out is uh, just there's their plans for after high school. You could do a simple Instagram story. Um, and again, you could record them ahead of time and then schedule them out. Um, and then you could put that in a highlight reel. Also, you'll just want to start thinking about how you're going to honor your um, seniors on social media. Some of you guys have five, 600 graduates. So of course, you're not going to do individual um you know, posts on social media. Uh, but if you have smaller classes, like we usually have about 20 kids, we can do features for them. Um, what we've started to do is just use those senior pictures. Don't create those special graphics. Um, it's a lot of time and there's a lot of opportunity for error. Um, and so um, those senior pictures you pay a lot of money for, uh, and most of those photographers give uh, approval for them, the kids to use them for their yearbook and for school. So you should be able to feature them on your um, on your uh, social media pages. Um, get with your count school counselor, um, maybe even get with a group of, of seniors that would be willing to help coordinate some of that. Um, you certainly can find out what they plan to do, um, get a little bit of direction of, of um, you know, kind of sharing some information of what they plan to do in, after high school. Um, but the more that information you gather, just know that the more information you have to proofread and put out and actually get from seniors. And I'm telling you, once it gets to the last month, it's kind of really hard to get information out of those seniors. So it is probably something that you want to start thinking about now. We're certainly doing that. Um, we serve over 80 school districts with our team of social media managers at, at Social School for EDU. And so we are starting to talk about laying that out of how to get that information from our schools if they choose to do that. And you don't have to. OK, we definitely had to back in 2020 when we didn't really have a, another method of honoring those uh, seniors, but you don't have to do it. Uh, but if it is a tradition, uh, this is your gentle reminder that you should start thinking about that. So, you know, this this podcast, I just really wanted to come at you with um, some really easy, implementable. Is that a word? Implementable, um, uh, doable 
things for uh, social media as we kick off. I know some of you maybe aren't back in school even till next week, uh, but hopefully you're still listening to this podcast because we love to give you great ideas. Um, and I just want to tell you, we've got a great lineup uh, as we start this new school or, or as we start this new year, 2023. Um, gosh, I have been doing this podcast since 2020. It's almost three years. Oh my gosh, time flies when we're having fun. Um, thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being a cheerleader of, of, of schools. And thank you for also, you know, just trusting me uh, each week to uh, share some ideas that can help you celebrate your students and staff with more people. So we'll see you back here next week uh, with another amazing guest. I can't wait to see all the stories you tell this year. Bye, guys.